Okay, so on December 20th in the morning, I received a vision, and in the vision, it looked like underwater, like if you're looking, you know, through through a pool underwater, there are these ten businessmen, and then they rise up from under the water to their waist, uh, or a little bit above their waist, and they all start to do synchronized swimming. It was so funny to watch men in business suits. So these are men in ten men in business suits, all doing synchronized swimming together. And um, to me, this was uh, like my interpretation. Uh, this has to do with the um, Nelson Mandela and uh, how recently, you know, all the countries got together to, you know, for his funeral. Um, but yeah, so, so this is also the New World Order, and I'll get more into that in a second, but just how the countries are together, they're all in on it, they're all doing the same thing. It's not like, well, one country's just trying to take advantage of, of another country, you know, they're just all in on it. And, uh, information that I'll get to is, uh, all in the Revelations, chapters 12, 13, and 17, and so the image of the businessmen, ten men underwater, coming out, rising out from the water. And so that's where you have um, the different chapters. And they describe, you know, the beast coming out from the water. And uh, so you have uh, seven heads, ten horns. And I'll go into the chapters in a second. And so you have the government, but it also represents the Antichrist. And the seven heads are back then in the 70s that there were seven main nations. And then in 96, they reorganized. And now there's 10 super nations. And they included uh, Australia and Ethiopia. No, not Ethiopia. Europe and Asia. Okay. So now let's go to chapter 12. So if you go to chapter 12, you go to Revelations chapter 12, verse 3. And in that verse, it describes the great red dragon coming out from the water. And it had seven heads, ten horns, seven crowns. So, do, 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 here we go. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads, ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. Then if you go, okay, no, I'm sorry, the, the one with the coming out of the water is in actually chapter 13. So yeah, here we are, we're getting to it. So Revelation chapter 13, verse 1 through 3. And so verse 1 says, you know, that, okay, let me do, 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 getting there, getting there, sorry. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns and upon his horns ten crowns and upon the heads the name of blasphemy so you know that's what God you know showed me this morning or Jesus showed me this morning with the image of uh, ten men in business suits coming out from the from the sea from the ocean and um, it's like, well, wait a minute. Chapter 12 describes seven heads, ten horns, seven crowns. Well, chapter 13, it's not seven, ten, seven. It says seven, ten, ten in chapter 13. And you have to go to chapter 17 to get it explained. And so, yeah, you have to, I'm not going to read all seven, you know, verses seven through 14. But, yeah, if you go to cha to uh, verse 12, so you go to verse 12, and it explains it. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. So, so yeah, there's some um, these these other ones that you know they will they will have a kingdom soon. So that's where those other three came come from. So why did I mention Nelson Mandela and the funeral? 
because yeah, I did have another a vision portion, and that vision, uh, and and so recently, we had the thing where um, you know the big funeral, and everyone, all the countries, all the leaders were there, and then afterwards, um, you know they you know buried him, you know and and so on. They had a ceremony. And December 15th is when they had the ceremony. Um, but then, you know, he did not die in December. He had, The family said he actually died on June 26th. But this morning, I saw a vision of tombstone that said Mandela. I also had a vision of a tombstone that said 66 on it. And my vision also said green tea. Now, did that mean that Nelson Mandela may have drank bad green tea? Someone laced it with something purposely so that he could die on June 6th. And who knows? I have no proof of this. But this was in the vision. And when you think of June 6, 2013... You kind of end up, if you add those, uh, the date, the year together, you end up with 666. So it's very interesting. I have no proof of this, but that's just, you know, those two headstones and the word green tea. So I saw those, those three together. And at that ceremony, when they buried Nelson Mandela, they may have conjured up the Antichrist on that day. So, all right. So that's the political side of the vision. So now we're on to Jingle Bells. <laughs> it's like, what? Okay, so now we're completely different. You know, we're on to trying to, uh, you know, so, so here's, you know, the, the vision continues. So now I hear Jingle Bells. Uh, there's a child playing with a candle and tipping the candle over, putting the wax on the table. Please be careful with the children. You know, so God just showed the child standing, um, no, a little child kneeling on the table. So, like, it's actually on the table with the candle and tipping the candle over and playing with the wax. So, please be careful that, you know, you don't leave your kids alone, that they're going to, you know, cause a house fire. So, that was something, you know, very interesting there. It's like, whoa, you know, seeing a little kid like that could get hurt. Um... But then the other thing Jesus showed was planet Earth with Christmas lights all over it. So like you're out, uh, like if you're God watching the planet Earth, and it's not just the normal planet Earth with the blue water and the white clouds and the and the land, you know, of uh, North America, South America. You now see these big yellow glowing lights all over it, and it just did not look pretty. And then he showed Santa, an old man wearing green, looking kind of mean. And and, I, and so I added this part, you know, well, maybe wearing green, because it's all has to do with buying stuff. Santa is the ploy, Christmas is the ploy. Gotta go get it on sale, gotta go purchase your presents, purchase, purchase, purchase. So that's why I'm thinking Jesus showed us Santa wearing green. Okay, and instead, he wants us to focus on baby Jesus, and it was just so pretty, like a, a mother's loving arms holding a baby, and the vision went over to the baby. So, and then also the music changed, little town of Bethlehem, at that time. So, so focus on the baby. If we're going to celebrate Christmas, focus on the baby. So here I have a little tiny nativity scene here. I have little candles, you know, they're kind of glowing, you know, little fake candles with LED lights. Uh, but those, so here's the Saint Joseph and the Blessed Mother Virgin Mary and little baby Jesus, you know, all with the music. Uh, just think of little town of Bethlehem in the background. So, okay, but yeah, I hope everyone has. Uh, you know, happy Christmas, and uh, love Jesus. No, I know we all will love Jesus, 
But it was interesting about the revelations, you know, so these bad bad times are coming. And maybe that's why it's time to go. So everyone, you know, stay safe and God bless.